There are a lot of credit cards out there and it can be very hard to find the right one for you, especially if you're just starting out. I have 11 credit cards, one of which is Capital One. And today I will review all the cards offered by Capital One. I will sort them in the order of acceptance by your credit score and hopefully will make it easier for you to choose the right card. Let's do this. Hi guys, Alex here. This is The Financial Pickle and today we're talking about Capital One credit cards. A note to make, Capital One has two offerings for UK and for the US. We will cover UK at the end of the video because there's only two cards for the UK market and we will start with the US. Another note to make, Capital One uses all free credit reporting agencies to get information about you. That's Experian, Equifax and TransUnion. But from what I read, Experian, they use a little bit more and therefore we will base our sourcing based on your Experian credit score, which you can check for free in the link down in the description. I'm not sponsored by Experian or Capital One or by anyone for that matter. So this is just my opinion about Capital One and the products that they offer and the card that I've used personally for almost a year now. First things first, you have about 18 years left of trying to use Capital One. And the reason for that is the average lifetime of a Fortune 500 company is just 45 years in the US, which means that if Capital One was established 27 years ago, you have exactly 18 years left uh, it'll take to try the bank out, which is plenty of time to get ourselves sweet benefits and even build our credit scores, like with the first item on our list, credit cards to rebuild or build your credit. It's credit cards for people with poor or very poor credit score, which is under 720 on Experian. And it is a platinum secured credit card. I don't know why it's called platinum, probably because the broke motherfuckers that get this card don't feel too bad about it, which I'm thankful because I had one of those and it feels pretty good when you get a platinum card. And you're like, mm, my credit score is but at least I don't feel so bad. So thank you very much Capital One for doing that. It kind of helps with our egos and uh, I appreciate it. The uh, perks of this card is none because it's a secured card, which means you have to deposit money on it first before you spend it. But that's why people with very low credit score or no at all can get this card because bank has no risk. It doesn't lend you any money. You are spending your own money that you put on this card and it helps the bank to see how you can manage your money. And if you're doing well over a certain period of time, your credit limit, i.e. how much money you can deposit on the card, will increase. And probably within three to six months, you will see an increase in your credit score and you might be able to get the next item on our list, which is a fair credit score credit cards, which is basically if your credit score is above 721 on Experian. And this is where things get interesting. Here you are divided into two groups, a student person and a non-student person. And you have similar cards for both of them. If you are a student, I strongly advise you getting the student card because I have a feeling it will have a lower threshold to get in. On the Capital One website, it says these cards are for fair credit score, which is on experience between 721 and 880. And my feeling is it's not 100% confirmed by the banks, but it looks like the student credit cards will Will be on the lower end of this spectrum so closer to 721 you know maybe 800 score rather than the standard credit cards which will be probably closer to the upper end of this spectrum so if you are a student you have two options first is a quick silver rewards credit card for students which gives you 1.5 percent cashback on everything which isn't much but better than nothing and the credit card is free but you don't get any points for walmart or target purchasing which is odd. So consider if you're shopping there all the time, maybe that's not the best option. The second option, which is more interesting, is Saver One rewards credit cards for students, which gives you 3% cashback, cashback, cashback on dining, entertainment, some subscriptions and grocery shopping, which includes uh, Target and Walmart, from what I understand, and 1% cashback on everything else, which seems like a better deal because also you don't pay any fee for that. So if you're a student, more likely than not, the best option is the Saver One rewards credit 
credit card. If you're not a student, you also have two options. The first is Quicksilver Secured Card, which gives you a 1.5% cashback on all your purchases, but it is a secured card, so you have to put money on it in order to spend it. So it's not as good for your credit score or your credit history. It's good, but it's not the best. So if you are on a low end of 720, uh, I'll probably still go for the second option, but it's out there for you if you feel like you want it for whatever reason. The other option is the Quicksilver One Rewards Credit Card that gives you a 1.5% cashback on everything. It doesn't cost you anything to have and it's a proper credit card with a credit limit and which is good for your credit score. You will also come across a Platinum MasterCard which has no fees and no benefits. And I don't know why the fuck would you get a card which has no benefits. Like in my case, when I'm growing my credit score, I get cards just because I want to grow my score. But if your score is fair and the option is to get a 1.5 cashback or nothing, uh, get the one with 1.5% cashback, obviously. To the next. Something to note with the Capital One, I have been with them for under a year and so far my credit limit, which was a thousand pounds to begin with, hasn't gone up over this period of time, which is disappointing because with all my other credit cards, for example, with Aqua, my credit limit rose from 600 pounds to 3,600 pounds in the same amount of time. The next thing to consider is hitting the like button underneath this video. Rumor has it, if you hit the like button, your credit score will improve, your credit limit will increase and many good things will happen to you. But the only way to find out is to hit that like button. So if you did, thank you very much. Leave a comment down below if good things have happened to you. And we're moving to the next one. Yeah. If you have a good credit score defined as inexperienced, being between 881 and 960, which is bloody good, I tell you, you have quite a few options. You will be met with Venture One, a Capital One credit card, which gives you 1.25 miles for every dollar you spend. Well, I'll tell you that you can get a better deal elsewhere. Look at like Amex or Chase, because with good credit score, you can afford to shop around at different places. So I wouldn't recommend getting this one because it's not a very good deal. Then there is only two cards worth mentioning in this section, which is Capital One Walmart Rewards card, which is insane. It gives you five 5% cashback on shopping in Walmart, that's online or through the app, and 2% cashback on shopping inside Walmart, physical, and Murphy's gas stations, uh, which is nice. And then you get 1% cashback on all other purchases, which I think is pretty awesome. 5% back in Walmart, that is mad. That's a good discount on everything that you buy. And the other card is for people that don't shop in Walmart. And to those I want to say, you think you're better than me? You want some? You want some, mate? <laughs> anyway, in all seriousness though, it is an okay credit card. It gives you 3% cash back on dining, entertainment and grocery shopping and 1% on everything else, which I think is not too shabby. But again, with a good credit score, you can get some sexy rewards when you consider other lenders as well. Now to the excellent credit score. To be eligible for excellent credit score credit cards, you need a credit score of 961 and up, which is a very, very narrow percentage of people that have this credit score. But let's see what you get. First of all, you'll be offered a Venture X credit card, which costs, by the way, $395. All other cards we discussed are free and $395 is a lot. What you get with it is 100,000 bonus points when you spend 10K in the first three months. And that's pretty much it. You get some bonuses on shopping in particular Capital One travel website bullshit, but you don't get much bonuses thereafter so it's not really a good deal I wouldn't go for it there are much better cards which cost about the same or just slightly more but give you much more benefits like American Express like Chase Sapphire and other big lenders so don't fall for it and then there's only two cards worth mentioning one is a Quicksilver Rewards credit card which gives you 0% APR for the first 15 months, which is amazing, which means that you can spend, for example, if your credit limit is $10,000 on this card, you get it, you can spend $10,000 and not have to pay any interest on the borrowed money for the 15 months. That's absolutely amazing. And your repayment will be like, I don't know, $100 per month and you're paying no interest, which is absolutely awesome. I don't recommend using the full extent of your credit card, credit limit, because it's not good for your credit score. But if need be, you know, situations are different in life and that might save you. I know it helped me when I 
got a Virgin money credit card and I received as a bonus nine months of zero APR, which means I can spend like, I think 4,000 pounds, which is this much in dollars. And I don't have to pay any fees on it, which is absolutely amazing. And I use it to sponsor my channel. Buy myself food and water. <sighs> Sex of the fan. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, maybe, maybe not. You don't know. The other perk of this Quicksilver credit card is that you get $200 back in cash when you spend $500 in the first three months, which is insane. Basically, you're getting 1.5% cash back, you're getting 0% APR for the 15 months, and you're getting $200 just in your bank account. It's just like, yeah, here you go. You can spend it now when you spend $500 or more on the card in the first three months. This is, is an awesome deal. And if I was on the market for a credit card, probably I would apply for it and just get one uh, just for the bands. But but before you rush over to get one, there is another card which is slightly more interesting. It's called Saver Rewards Credit Cards, which gives you 4% cash back on uh, entertainment, dining, grocery shopping and certain subscriptions and 1% cash back on everything else. It also gives you $300 cash once you spend $3,000 or more in the first three months, which is awesome. The only drawback here is it costs about $95 per year. But, but first of all, you get $300. So you already get back like four years worth of the subscription fee. And also with the 4% cashback on dining and restaurants, I'm pretty sure you'll make this money back up and save more money quite quickly. So it's something to consider as well, but you don't get 0% APR there. Uh, oh well, can't get everything, can you? There's also other cards to consider, like if you shop at Pottery Barn, Williams, Sonoma, West Elm, you get 5% cash back with the credit cards dedicated to these shops. So if you shop there, that might be a brilliant idea for you. So something to look into. And now to the UK credit cards. In the UK, the credit card situation is pretty and we're kind of in the ass and in the mouth by the banks here because we don't know how they judge to who to accept, who not to accept, which credit score works, which doesn't. So you don't have an option. And with Capital One, in any case, you only have two options. One is the standard credit card uh, with the credit limits up to one and a half thousand pounds, which is this much in dollars. And uh, that is it. You don't get any 0% APR, you don't get any bonuses, you don't uh, get no cashback, nothing. And that's the card I have. I use it to build my credit score. So something to consider if you're in UK, that could be a good card to get. The other option is the credit card for balance transfers, which is an interesting one. You get 0% APR on balance transfers for 24 months. For two years, you don't have to pay APR for transferring into this uh, card, which is pretty nice. And the credit limit is up to eight grand, which is good because it can help to grow your credit limit overall quite nicely. My credit limit right now is about $20,000 with 11 credit cards, might I add. And if I get this one, which I'm considering, I will increase it by almost 50% just like that. So not a bad idea, something to consider. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about credit cards, which one would you go for? Or tell me what I need your feedback, please. And that has been it. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. We gotta make them right, chillin' with mine. We triple up, they on the double up, triple dub. Came from the basement, we only going up. They loving us. Up in the booth, I'm getting dizzy, but they the cup is up. Toast to my people that's on the come up, and you live with us.